A second porn actress says she was invited to a hotel room by Trump and Stormy Daniels. Hours after the Wall Street Journal reported that Michael Cohen, President Donald Trump's longtime lawyer, paid porn actress Stormy Daniels $130,000 to keep quiet about her 2006 affair with Trump prior to the election. A second porn actress has come forward validating Daniels' relationship with Trump, saying that she herself was invited to Trump's hotel room by the pair. According to the Daily Beast, actress Alana Evans told the publication about Daniels' affair with Trump prior to the 2016 presidential election as part of a larger piece involving Daniels herself. However, Daniels backed out from the piece five days before the election. Evans told the publication that in July 2006, she had been staying in the same area as the American Century Celebrity Golf Championship, where Daniels had met Trump, a competitor at the tournament. Evans, who was Daniels' neighbor and close friend at the time of the event, had run into Daniels at the hotel where the tournament was being hosted and was told by Daniels that she had met Trump and was planning on meeting him later that night. Evans said later that evening, Daniels kept calling her to get her to come to Trump's hotel room, but she declined each time and eventually turned off her phone after hearing Trump in the background of one call, saying, Oh come on Alana, let us have some fun. Let us have some fun. Come to the party, we re waiting for you. The next day, Evans said she apologized to Daniels and asked her what happened. The two hadn't he spoken about the event since, she tells me. All I am going to say is, I ended up with Donald in his hotel room. Picture him chasing me around his hotel room in his teddy witties. I was like, Oh I really didn't teeny to hear that. Then she said he offered her keys to his condos in Florida, and I was like, wow guess you had a good night, and that was the last we ever spoke of it. A White House official has denied the affair between Trump and Daniels to the Wall Street Journal, and called the story old, recycled reports, which were published and strongly denied prior to the election.